nobody? Ever again? That sounds a bit extreme. Well, you think so? What do you think is the first step in loving yourself? Hey, are, are you some kind of spiritual guru trying to recruit me? <laughs> oh, no, please. I'm very down to earth. Hanging around near the metro station in considerable safety and all. But I used to be a florist down in Trinity. I had a shop there, the Blooming Tulip, near the bazaar, when it was still the Church of the Holy Trinity. I was raised in an orphanage among a multitude of apathetic people. <laughs> Maybe that's why I turned to flowers. But after the outbreak, people stopped buying them. Well, that's understandable. Certainly, but... Uh... There was this old lady. I basically kept the store open just for her. She'd come every day, as if nothing had changed. Her visits were the highlight of my day, until one day she didn't show. I mean, you didn't expect it to last forever, did you? Maybe I did. I was growing these special pink roses for her. It was her last order, and I simply couldn't throw them all away. So I kept one of the roses and dried it, just for her. She'd be delighted to know that you never forgot her. Yeah. If only I could get that rose to her. Could you take it? She never said where she lived precisely, but I asked her once where she kept all her flowers. She said, in a beautiful house made of glass, where the old mound used to be. Here, take the rose. Please find the house and give it to her, if she's still there. My little brother is here somewhere, learning the rope to follow in my footsteps. Do meaning of this. Don't you know the law? A house made of glass reminds me of that flower lady. Hmm. Maybe I should check it out. Farewell, flower lady.
Yeah, I found her. I'm afraid she... She had passed away. She was with her flowers. So... She died in peace. We'll never really know. How sad. That connection, yet... We knew so little about each other. Thank you for giving her the rose. I'll uh, see you around, Aiden. No threat identified here. Stand by. <laughs>